Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, I'm going to show you how to grant update permission on a table or tables to user in MariaDB. Let's uh, open our Linux box and then connect to MariaDB. So I'm going to use uh, my root user and uh, here. So we have to provide the password. And now we can take a list of the databases by um, providing a show databases statement uh, here. Okay, we have Tech Brothers database here and that's where we would like to provide permission to user called the TB. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say user uh, Tech Brothers. So we can see the tables and the show tables that will list all the tables here. So we have employee table and manager table. Next part, uh, we'd like to see if the user does exist already. So from mysql.user, that's where uh, if the user is there, so we don't see the user TB here. So we can create a user called uh, create user TB, put in the single quotes and the rate uh, localhost and identified by password so one two three is the password all good now we are going to provide uh, the update permission on one of the table called the employee then later we will provide the permission on all tables uh, so you will say grant update and also i would say as you are providing uh, update statement uh, uh, permission or uh, sorry update permission you would like to provide select as well uh, because to update the data you need to see the data so i'm saying update comma select on uh, tech brothers dot employee two and here i provided the database name as part of the table so you don't have to do that if you have already in the database but if your scope is different database then you can provide a fully qualified name for the table and uh, now we'll say at the rate localhost and the permission is provided now we exit from here now we log in by using user tb dash p and provide the password one two three now we say, say show databases it should only show us two databases one database where the table is existing tech brothers and the other is a system database so we say user tech brothers and now you should say show tables you will see only one table because the permission were only provided on one table first of all let's uh, take a look and uh, see the records here so we see that there are two records and uh, you can see first name last name age and ssn so I, if i want to go ahead and update now update uh, employee and uh, say set age is equal to 34 where id is equal to one so I'm gonna go ahead and change the age for record number one. Okay, now if we select the data again, we should see update should be completed and you can see that the age is uh, updated. Now, if you would like to provide the update permission on all the tables, what you are gonna do in this case, first of all, you're gonna go with the uh, login uh, root dash p and then we'll provide the password here and now you will say grant update and so you will say on and uh, in this case uh, we will go tech brothers that's our database dot asterisk that means uh, we would like to provide uh, uh, the permission on all the objects uh, and uh, that should be update and again i would say here we should provide the select as well uh, because if i will only provide the update uh, then how i'm going to select the data uh, from the table without seeing them it's hard to update the data so i will uh, provide update and select on tech browsers two and we'll say tb at the rate localhost all good now we exit from here we come back with the our user tb p and uh, provide the password one two three show databases uh, still same databases it should show but when we say use tech brothers and see the tables uh, we should see all the tables uh, and uh, in uh, our case uh, if you remember that uh, we have uh, only two tab tables in this uh, database uh, you can select the data from a manager and uh, here is the data we can update uh, manager data and we say set uh, maybe we would like to change the last name of the very first record so instead of Ladson maybe we'll call it uh, 
uh, row A and where ID is equal to 1 and uh, the record is updated. So that's how you are going to provide uh, the update permission on a table on on uh, or on multiple tables. Uh, so you see that you will say update uh, and uh, you you're going to say grant update and uh, that's all. Uh, first uh, part would be and then you're going to tell on which objects uh, in our case if it is only one table you will say the database name dot table name uh, otherwise you will say database name dot asterisk for all uh, and then you, you say two and then you have to provide the username uh, thanks very much for watching this video i hope uh, this will help uh, and i will see you guys in next video